Types of Bearings and Their Uses Introduction A bearing is a machine element that constrains relative motion and reduces friction between moving parts. Bearing is a mechanical element which permits relative motion between two parts, such as the shaft and the housing, with minimum friction. Bearing Functions The bearing facilitates free rotation of the shaft with minimum friction. The bearing supports the shaft and holds it in the correct position. The bearing takes up the forces that act on the shaft and transmits them to the frame. Classification of bearing Depending upon nature of contact 1. Sliding contact bearings 2. Dot rolling contact bearings 1. Sliding contact bearing Sliding surface or plane bearings A plane surface bearing is a simplest type of bearing it have only sliding surface. Plane bearings, in general, are the least expensive type of bearing. They are also compact and lightweight, and they have a high load carrying capacity. Fluid bearings Hydrostatic bearings are externally pressurized fluid bearings, where the fluid is usually oil, water, or air, and is pressurized by a pump. Hydrodynamic bearings rely on the high speed of the journal, the part of the shaft resting on the fluid, to pressurize the fluid in a wedge between the faces. Types of sliding contact bearing Two rolling contact bearing Rolling element or anti-friction bearings it is the anti-friction bearing provide moving elements for the low friction support surface for rotating or sliding surface. This type bearing commonly made from with hardened rolling elements, balls and rollers, and races. Types of rolling contact bearing Ball bearing Cylindrical roller bearing Spherical roller bearing Taper roller bearing Needle bearing Thrust bearing 1. Ball bearing In the ball bearing use the metal ball for the maintain distance between the two races and reduce rotational friction and support radial and axial load. 2. Cylindrical roller bearing These bearings have a simple structure with their cylindrical rollers in linear contact with the raceways. They offer high load capacity under primarily radial loads. Low friction between the rollers and ring ribs makes these bearings suited for high speed rotation. 3. Spherical Roller Bearing These bearings consist of an inner ring with two raceways inclined at an angle to the bearing axis, an outer ring with a common spherical raceway, spherical rollers, cages and, in certain designs, also internal guide rings or center rings. These bearings can also be sealed. 4. Taper Roller Bearing Tapered roller bearings feature tapered inner and outer ring raceways with tapered rollers arranged between them, angled so the surface of the rollers converge at the axis of the bearing. It is ideal for guides that have to undergo extreme loads. It is also found in applications where radial loads are important and rotational speeds are high. Tapered roller bearings are essential in sectors such as agriculture, construction, mining, engines, and propellers. Five, needle bearing. Needle bearings are a small cylindrical type of roller bearings which are used to prevent friction between moving surfaces which have low rotational speeds. Needle roller bearings are usually used when space is at a premium as needle bearings are much more compact than ball bearings. 6. Thrust bearing. These are designed to support a predominantly axial load. Thrust ball bearings, composed of bearing balls supported in a ring, can be used in low thrust applications where there is little axial load. They give very good carrying capacity and are cheap but tend to wear due to the differences in radial speed and friction which is higher than with ball bearings. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.